Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. All right, so let's go back to the refrigerator. Exhaust to your furnace. And your water heater. Um, so basically how this works is you're going to want to hook up to your city water with that pressure regulator. Open that up till you see water come out like that. Then you know it's full. Then you can light it up. Both from inside, gas or electric. And you want to drain it. Relieve all the pressure to get all that water out of there. It'll come out for about five seconds. Then pull this plug and it just drains out right there. Just make sure you relieve the pressure first, otherwise you will get soaked. It shoots out like a bullet. Option for backup camera. Outside speakers. Just make sure this door is open all the way. And then you can lift those steps up. It just kind of sits inside the door frame there and then you can just shut the door. It's going to be your carbon monoxide detector. It runs strictly off a of 12 volt. So if you're not using it, I would use that battery disconnect. That way you cut the power to it. thermostat. You just have your modes. One's going to be air, one's going to be heat. Control your temperature right here and then your fan control. Your monitor panel. You just push those buttons and it'll tell you right here on the right what your levels are. You have your water heater buttons. You have your gas and your electric. Water pump. And then your ceiling lights and your porch light for outside. Slide room button, mounting button. Your radio it does have two zones. One will play inside, one will play outside. You can play both at the same time if you choose to. Um, it is also Bluetooth, DVD, CD player. Your refrigerator. It's gas and electric. Push the button on the right to the out position, and then it'll switch over to gas. And now it's on electric. Freezer should get cold in a couple hours. Um, refrigerator, more like about eight to 10 hours. So if you're planning a camping trip, I would definitely get her plugged in at home and let it cool down the day before you guys leave. Everything spark on this stove top and oven. You just turn it on to the flame. Do your spark, it lights right up. Push all the way down this button, it turns on the oven light. You will have to hold in the pilot for this and then use your sparker. Let it light up at the coupler, let it warm up for a second, let off, and it just turns right on. fuses and your breakers are. When one of the fuses goes out, a red light shines next to the one that's blown. So it makes it really easy to know which one it is. Looks like mostly all 15s. Looks like a 10 down there and 240s. So I keep some of those on hand. Now 
also have some 110, some USB. This does turn into a bed. The table just goes down. Press right there on those plastic pieces. The cushions make up the rest of the mattress. So some more USB ports there. I would go around, maybe tighten up your water lines behind the toilet, underneath the sinks. Um, going down the road, stuff does loosen up, so it'd be wise to do that. That way, you're not getting water, water all over the place. GFI plug, just like in your bathroom at home. Congratulations and have fun camping. Hi Grover family, my name is Jeff here at Tradelands. I'm going to do your video walkthrough. Um, before I get started, just want to take a minute to make a couple recommendations. Um, definitely recommend uh, paint and fab. Um, fab protection basically protects the outside from fading, um, your decals from peeling, stuff like that. Um, if anything happens, it gets replaced. Um, the fab protection will be for the inside of the unit, um, flooring, um, furniture, scratches, stains, stuff like that. So if you have young children, animals, definitely would recommend that. And if you plan on keeping this past your three year warranty there, I would definitely, definitely recommend the extended warranty. Alright, this is part of your convenience pack that you purchased. This is going to be for your hitching, which Frank will explain to you. This is your water pressure regulator, so whatever hose that you're going to be using, I would recommend just leaving this on it. Um, basically regulates your pressure to about 41 psi. Um, that way you're not blowing water lines out. 30 up adapter, that way you can plug into 110. And this is the sewer hose I give you. Uh, if you don't already have one, I would probably recommend a new one. It's not the best one in the world, but it'll get by. And that extends all the way to the other side. You have your electric stabilizer jacks. Which, the button will be on the other side. A brand new 24 interstate battery. So if you're not using the unit for a period of time, I would definitely recommend um, disconnecting. That way you save the power of your battery and you're not killing the carbon monoxide detector inside. Two 20 pound propane tanks. You will mainly have to come over and switch this over when you want to draw off the other side. And your power tongue jack. Little docking light there. Up and down. All your information, tire pressure, then weight, all that information is going to be right there for you. You do have a battery disconnect, so that's nice. So I guess you won't have to disconnect your battery. You can just turn that to the opposition and it saves all your 12 volt power. That one right there is going to be your fresh water or your potable water. Um, so basically, if you don't have full hookup at the park, you can fill up there and strictly use the water pump. Otherwise, you'll hook right up to city water um, with that water pressure regulator and you'll get water to the system immediately. This black one right here is going to be your black tank flush. Um, basically the way that works is you'll hook up your water hose with that water pressure regulator, turn it on, make sure that your black tank is open. That way it's draining as it's cleaning. Basically what it's doing is just cleaning off the walls inside. And then we have your outside shower. This is going to be your dump station. Always pull the black first, then pull the gray. Just kind of cleans out the sewer hose. 
Those are your low point drains. You probably won't have to mess with those until you go to winterize. I did forget to show you guys these. These are where you're going to extend and retract your electric stabilizer jacks. Does this get hit or anything?